stop gassing out. Join Gilbert Melendez, Tim Crater, Patrick Cote, and get Cardio Factor, the cardio building supplement from Adaptex Labs. Take your cardio to the next level at don'tgasout.com. Joe Rizzo here for MMA Diehards with Ryan Thomas. Everybody's talking about the second chance. You made the most of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm very, very lucky for, for Bjorn to bring me back like this. I think uh, everybody knows that I deserved a chance. Uh, the, the fans really wanted, wanted to see me back, um, and, I, and I think they did the right thing. I'm really looking forward to the next fight with Askren. So now you're getting a shot at him again. Yeah, yeah, and he's already uh, like calling me out on Twitter and saying he's going to choke me again and all that, uh, just being a, a turd. But, uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to mixing up with, with him again. A little Twitter comments like that make me wish that fight was tomorrow, but I'll, I'll be able to wait a month, and uh, I can't look forward. I'm really looking forward to teeing off on his face. Do you really feel that it's like this, this cosmic turn of events? I mean, to, first of all, to lose the way you did which is unusual. We don't usually see that. Then this whole volcano thing happens, and it just so happens that you're in a tournament and they're fighting again next week. I mean, did you stop and think about that at all? It's, it's, a, it's crazy, man. It's so bizarre. And what, what's even weirder that I haven't told anybody uh, about is I just started going to church like a couple months ago every Sunday. And, uh, I mean, that added in there, it's just, it's just weird. And uh, I, I just thank God for everything that's happening to me. So people usually ask after a win or something like that the question, what's next? But you know exactly what's next. And, like, when did you start preparing for the fight? I mean, did you start doing it as soon as you got the victory? You started preparing for this next for, fight? For the next, for the Askren? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, I, when, Just when I found out I was fighting him, and I've learned a lot already from fighting him last time. I'm, I think I'm going to be able to keep the keep it standing on, uh, on our feet a little bit longer this next fight. And uh, I'm, I look forward to bringing the pain on him. Now, McClintock's no joke. I mean, he's, he came out there like a house of fire. And, uh, you know, he almost, you, you almost got caught there at the end with the, uh, with the triangle and then an arm bar. You slipped out. I see he got you, you know, across the nose as well. How, how, did you feel like you were close to being on the wrong end of it any time in that fight? No, I wasn't. He hit me right off the bat. Uh, it wasn't, like, going to knock me out or anything. It just kind of woke me up. And then uh, well, he had me in a triangle, but I think the, the triangle wasn't really ever tied. I kind of was, like, sitting back, and it, it was kind of up on my up on my head rather than my neck. And then the rear naked choke, he really had me worried when he uh, had my back, but he never really got uh, around, my, around my throat. So, uh, yeah, I just weathered the storm, and uh, I knew he was going to come out, you know, like that because if you look at his record, He's beat some really, really tough guys. He's 6-0, and and he's beat them all in the first round. So I figured he's going to come out like a madman, and I came out a little bit flat, and uh, th those punches woke me up, and I, and I, and I, I finished the fight uh, and, and persevered. So can you really, can you even believe that you're standing here a week after what happened? Like, like after that happened, like, do, are you even able to process the fact that you've not, you know, that you've come back and won and you're in the semifinals? I don't even think my brain is done processing that bogus uh, call in front of, you know, all my friends and family and, and, and 92 million people in the first place. And then on top of that, I'm in Connecticut right now. I flew out here, like, on less than a day's notice fought like a uh, volcano all kinds of crazy stuff has happened and I, I can't really believe it all but but it's real it feels like a dream but it's real and uh and, and, I, and i'm just very thankful for the position i'm in right now all right that's ryan thomas you're now you're whether you like it or not you're known as the second chance guy i'll take that i'll take that i think i gained a lot of fans even before i uh i beat um, mcclintock i had all kinds of fans add me to Facebook and Twitter, so I think I'm going to have a whole lot more when I go home tonight. So, so it's been good. It's, it's been a roller coaster, but uh, that's MMA for it. I love it. All right, thanks for taking time, MMA, MMA diehards. Thank you.